Hi there, I'm Don Mello and I'm the Customer Service Manager for CraftCuts.com. I want to show you how to make scrapbook paper wood letters using your favorite scrapbook paper patterns and our standing wood letters. This project can also be done on just about any of our wood letters. I'm using 6 inch tall letters, but you can order a different size if you'd like. You can also order a different letter style, but we recommend getting a bold font with a relatively even stroke weight, so a lot of the pattern shows. If you're not in the know, the stroke weight refers to the width of the face of the material. It's like the difference of writing with a ballpoint pen or a fat magic marker. For the word dream, I found some whimsical patterns in aqua and salmon with a vintage air balloon theme. I'm using scrapbook paper, but you can also use maps, comic books, or any other paper with the pattern you like. Also on hand is light aqua acrylic paint, a utility knife, spray adhesive or decoupage medium, a 3 quarter inch flat brush, 220 grit sandpaper, water, a paper plate, and some paper towels. Put some paper down to protect your work surface. First I'm going to paint the sides of the letter using this 3 quarter inch flat brush. Once the sides are painted, I'm going to sand off the paint drips on the front and back of the letter. Now I'm going to paint the back of the letter and the perimeter of the face. I don't have to paint the whole thing because it's going to be covered with paper. Now that the paint is dry, it's time for the fun part. There are a couple of ways we like to cover the letters with paper. You can either stick the paper to the face of the letter or stick the letter onto the back of the paper. Brush the decoupage medium onto the face of the letter. While the decoupage medium is still wet, hold the paper tight and carefully place it on the face of the letter. A faster yet messier option is to spray adhesive onto the back of the paper and press the face of the letter onto it. Make sure you are in a well ventilated area when using the spray adhesive. Once the adhesive is dry, cut the excess paper with a utility knife with the letter face down. You may want to use a cutting mat to protect your work surface. Most of these I will do face down. For tight corners like on the A, I will turn the letter face up and carefully cut the excess away with a sharp blade. If you want a glossy finish or a way to protect the paper on the face, brush the decoupage medium onto the face of the letter. Once all is dry, the decoupage medium will have a clear glossy finish and your letters are ready for display. Here's our letters as well as some others we have made using maps and comic books. Good luck with your project and if you have any questions, please contact us and we'll be happy to help you. I'm Don Mello for CraftCuts.com and thanks for watching.